In this movie, we're going to talk about some of the limitations of a crosstab. We've already mentioned one limitation, which is the number of rows limitation in the crosstab. Meaning, Crystal will let you design a report any way you wish. However, if your choice of columns and rows exceeds the 65,000 row count, it will error out and ask you to reduce the summary set. Crosstabs, in the beginning, were designed for simple summary type reports that could be quick and easy. Notice we didn't have to choose what to summarize, we simply drug it into our crosstab wizard and it did it for us. Another limitation in the crosstab is the ability for the summarize fields to interact. Now in regular crystal reports I can grab any field and summarize it accordingly. There are ways around that rule, but that's for an advanced class. For beginning's purposes, for example, I couldn't take this 100% and interact it anyway with this percentage here. These summarize fields are kind of kept separately. So for example, I couldn't pull in a total inventory amount here, followed by a sold amount, and then have them to interact. I would have to do that separately outside in a formula. Another limitation of the crosstab happens here. For example, if I choose division above office name and then press OK, when I export, all I get is this E section followed by a whole bunch of blank lines until it changes group. Now it's not so much a limitation, however, if you're sorting and slicing and dicing in Excel, it helps to have this label repeated. Another limitation has to do kind of with the export function. You can export to any format you want, even this crosstab report, but it doesn't automatically put in headers and row columns, i.e. telling you what the rows are, on every single page. You have to do that yourself. The way to do it is actually fairly simple. So if you plan to print this or export this to, let's say, a PDF as opposed to Excel, where you can format to your heart's content, you right-click, go to the Crosstab Expert, and go to Customize Style. From here, you'll need to check the repeat row labels. This means when you do export, the row labels will be reprinted for each page that it crosses. Notice now I've got a repeat for this fictionary page line that I've just crossed. It's not that big of a deal, but a lot of people are still printing out reports the old-fashioned way and handing them off. If you print up a cross tab or create a cross tab and you don't have these row headers along with your column headers, you just get pages and pages of numbers in a grid. And if you have lots of numbers, it's hard to tell what they belong to or, more importantly, where they belong. Even with those limitations that we've just gone over, the crosstab is a great tool for real quick, high-level analysis for simple summaries and such. You do have lots of options in terms of formatting. I once went on a client site where they exclusively did all the reporting in crosstab, and they were very good at it. But that fit for their business model and their system. Your system may not be as cut and dried as theirs was, but you can probably still use this tool, especially when troubleshooting or you just need some quick numbers.